It's an election year and all eyes are on the 5th Congressional District because President Trump did well there four years ago. Republicans are hoping that will help them defeat freshman Congresswoman Johanna Hayes. There are four candidates, David X. Sullivan, Robert Hyde, Ruben Rodriguez, and Ryan Meehan. With us today is Mr. Sullivan. Good to see you here in the program. Nice to be here, Dennis. Thank for, you. First question for you, as you go around the district, you're going to be asking people basically to fire their congresswoman. Why should voters turn Johanna Hayes out of office? Well, Johanna Hayes has been in office approximately 14 or 15 months. Uh, I've been working in the state of Connecticut in the federal district of Connecticut for 30 years. I've worked uh, throughout those 41 towns in the 5th Congressional District. I've lived in the district my entire life, raised my family in the district. My father served in the state house from the district. And I don't believe Johanna Hayes truly represents the values of the people in the 5th Congressional District. How so? Well, uh, first and foremost, since she's been in office, uh, she had initially made the pledge she would not support Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House. Her first vote was casting in support of Nancy Pelosi as Speaker of the House. Secondly, she went out and supported uh, the $93 trillion Medicare for All, uh, I'm sorry, uh, New Green Deal, and then she supported uh, the most uh, progressive Medicare for All bill. As you look at your fellow Republicans, what makes you the most qualified to be the standard bearer this year? Well, again, um, I have two law degrees. I served in as, as an assistant United States attorney for 30 years here in the Federal District of Connecticut. I've worked in the large cities. I've worked in the smaller towns in this district. I worked in Waterbury when uh, uh, Mayor O'Leary was Chief O'Leary. I've worked in New Britain. I've worked in... Um, uh, Danbury, Litchfield, everywhere. I, I know the people of this district. I've served the people of this district. And um, I've worked in Washington as the uh, National Asset Forfeiture Money Laundering Coordinator for 16 months on detail uh, after 9-11. I've worked with state, local, and federal law enforcement in this state, in this district, and nationally. As you know, the state has been turning pretty blue in recent years. How do you reverse that trend, and can it be done? It certainly can be done, and as I go around to the 41 towns, I tell them the math is very simple. Five plus two equals one. We have five Democrat congresspeople. We have two Democrat senators, and we have one voice representing all the people in this state in Washington. And if that voice is moving, deviating at all, it's moving farther and farther to the left. Nancy Pelosi was once the liberal face of the Democratic Party. Now she's a moderate voice. And Johanna Hayes represents that movement to the left. It, they like to say progressive. The reality is it's socialism. Would you want President Trump to campaign for you in the fifth? Absolutely. The president's done very well in three years. Um, when you look at the Ronald Reagan years, eight years, uh, Reagan was very successful as a Republican president. This president, despite the fact that Maxine Waters and others have been screaming impeachment and resistance to, since the day the man took the oath of office, um, with 3.5 percent unemployment, with 7.2 million new jobs, 1.2 million of those jobs are manufacturing jobs that President Obama said would never come back. We've had gross domestic product that has gone from under two uh, to almost four points. And again, President Obama said it would never reach two points. So there have been a lot of achievements. Do you believe that people in the fifth are upset that Johanna Hayes supported impeachment of the president? Well, I think we're going to find out this coming election. Um, I will tell you, I have read the Mueller report. I've had students. I, I, I teach, I've been teaching at the Yale Law School since 96. I teach graduate national security classes at the University of New Haven. And one of the things I tasked them with was to read the Mueller report. And quite frankly, it wasn't there. And it was abandoned when they came down to the two... Um, um, you know, articles of impeachment that they were talking about. I, I do think that the district is more um, conservative and more open-minded, but not as liberal and certainly not socialist. The, the largest voting bloc, Dennis, uh, in the district are unaffiliated voters. And two years ago, Johanna Hayes had $1.5 million in her war chest. Manny Santos from Meriden did spectacularly. With $70,000, he took 44% of the vote. And that tells me that this district is very much looking for and subject to change. We need Republican representation. In, uh, this fall, of course, uh, every state representative, state senator is also up on the ballot uh, with you if you happen to be on it. Do you believe that uh, there could be sort of a vote against Governor Lamont, let's say, and Democrats, and that could help Republicans this year? 
I, I think that's very, very likely. I will tell you, I was there when the uh, governor gave his state of the state, and um, three things he talked about that really struck me. He talked about expanding uh, gaming, he talked about tolls, and he talked about legalizing marijuana and citing the fact that other states were doing it, which sounds to me like, gee, mom, other kids are doing it. But what he didn't talk about was real job growth and job creation. The fact is, we have been in, engaged nationally in a very robust economy, but unfortunately, Connecticut has not shared in that. No one in the Connecticut delegation in Washington speaks with this administration. Johanna Hayes um, has voted with, the Republi uh, with this Republican president's administration 4.4% of the time, 100% of the time with Nancy Pelosi, and 95% of the time with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. So you are how you vote in Congress. Uh, one last question. Uh, which Democratic presidential candidate would be in the ballot would help you the most, do you think, in the fifth that would turn people off and make them vote Republican? I, you know, I, quite frankly, I, I think all of them at this point, when you have so many candidates, you don't truly have a candidate. Uh, Bernie Sanders is certainly someone that uh, seems to be enjoying uh, a lot of popularity right now. I think we're going to run on the strengths uh, and achievements of this administration and this president. David X. Sullivan, he is a Republican candidate for Thanks. Congress in the 5th. Thanks for being on the program today. We'll have the rest of the candidates on in the coming weeks. Thanks so much for watching today. CBS Sunday Morning with Jane Polly is coming up next. Have a great day.